I have four years. I'm about to break down the warrior diet for you. So stay tuned. Warrior diet is basically just a more intense version of the lean gains diet. But here we here it is. Uh, what the warrior diet consists of is either four hours or six hours of eating and then the rest fasting. I took that and I put it as intense as I could. So I started with the four hours of eating and then 20 hours of fasting. Now, I'm gonna give you a secret that a lot of people do not reveal when they talk about intermittent fasting. So I have some data here that I took up that I wrote down. Before I even start talking about this data, I do wanna give some uh, kudos to Ori Hoffmeckler, who is the person who created the warrior diet. However, there are certain things in his book, if you ever were to read his book, which is called The Warrior Diet, uh, there are certain things in there that studies have shaved off a little bit in terms of effectiveness uh recent studies however the, the core of what he's talking about still holds uh strong and that is the person who has to get the credit for creating the warrior diet since it wasn't in existence until he uh mentioned it or he started breaking it down but the thing is is basically intermittent fasting is just his take on intermittent fasting and it's just a more aggressive time frame he, he has certain specific things in there that you should do but none of it is i don't feel you need to go dive so deep into it uh as long as you get this four hour and six hour window and of eating and you understand that the rest of it needs to be fasting and uh consistency is important i'm gonna get to that uh in a few seconds it is not even a mystery anymore if this is good or if this is bad studies have already been done uh, a few years ago by uh the uh, Washington University, uh, one of the leading uh, colleges in medical study, and they've already determined that fasting reduces chronic disease, extends your lifetime expectancy, it helps the insulin to break down more sugars, it, it does a lot of different things that are very, very, very healthy for your body. Um, so health, we already know that eating, restricting yourself from eating is healthy got that down pat. Why does the warrior diet work? Someone going against the warrior diet will probably say something to this effect. Well, if all that matters is that you're eating calories and that you're making sure that your calories are at a deficit, then you lose weight and it doesn't matter. Wrong. It does matter because the rate in which you lose weight can actually be manipulated. So what does that mean? You can speed up the process and then lose the weight faster than normal. And who doesn't want to lose the weight faster than normal? I do. And the great thing about it, like I explained before, you lose weight and you're doing it in a healthier state, contrary to popular belief. So here's the data. Why does it matter? This is something I coined myself. I call it sub the sub six versus time manipulation effect. It's just creating an overall chart system or imagery of what you've done throughout the day, over a week and over a year, a uh, month and over a year. I'm gonna go ahead and explain to you guys that a lot of people do not tell you about intermittent fasting is that your body starts to break down stored energy, which is your body fat. This is the reason why it speeds up the process of losing weight. It starts to break down the body fat inside of you after six hours of continuous not eating. That's why I call this the sub six versus time manipulation effect, because it's a sub six hours. So after six hours, that is when you're finally starting to break down the foods that is being stored in your body. So sub six is for the day will be 14 hours. So you have 14 hours of body fat storage breakdown. So here we go. We got 14 hours in one day, 98 hours in a week, 392 hours in a month, and 4,704 hours in a year. So if you were to break that down with regular uh, eating schedules, and by regular, I'm going to be as generous as I can by spacing you out as as efficiently as I can uh, 
But we all know that people still tend to eat those little snacks at night. People still tend to eat past their dinner time. People still tend to consume things. But I'm going to give you, I'm going to be as generous as I possibly can so that you can see how much of a difference it is if you do a intermittent fasting uh, warrior diet. So if you do regular eating, and this is assuming that you sleep for eight hours, of course, I'm going to be as generous as possible. Some people sleep more, um, but eight hours, I guess, is the norm sleep norm so let's say your last meal is at 7 p.m you stop eating at 7 30 p.m you go to sleep at 12 a.m and you wake up at 8 a.m so you have fasted now for about 13 hours okay remember sub six so if you're doing 13 hours of fasting from that time frame you only have seven hours of actually attacking the stored energy not broken down current energy stored energy so we go ahead and you eat at 8 30 a.m so when you eat at 8 30 a.m the next time frame that you're going to eat is lunch right let's say you're going to eat at 12 p.m so you only really fasted for three hours so you got to scrap that you don't go into sub six you're already using the energy from the food that you're currently breaking down i'm going to be as generous as i can to say your next meal your your dinner meal is going to be at 7 p.m which we know that a lot of people eat at four or five or six, whatever it may be, but I'm gonna try to give you the benefit of the doubt, non-intermittent fasters. At 7 p.m., you ate was your last meal. Let's say it's your last meal. So from 12 to seven, that's six hours and a half of fasting. So you only have a 0.5 sub six. So in a week, that's 59.50 hours sub six in a month that's 238 hours sub six and in an entire year that's 2856 hours sub six that is almost less than half of the uh, 4,704 hours sub six that you get from intermittent fasting. So can you see why the benefits are there for intermittent fasting where it's not just about eating your calories, but it is also about using your stored energy. It speeds up the process and at the same time gives you a healthier outlook on your nutrition and your body. That to me is two things that completely convinced me to do intermittent fasting as opposed to eating normally and just measuring my calories. So there you have it guys, that is the video explaining why you can completely slice in half your sub six hours of not eating, which is very important because once again, after six hours is when you actually start to tap into your stored energy. So that is what you wanna do. You want the health benefits of fasting and you also want to grab in your stored energy so thank you if warriors for watching this video of course i will see you next week if you need any other information on videos i've had in the past boom boom those videos there and please hit the subscribe button right here i would very much appreciate it and you will very much be happy with the information that you're going to be getting on a weekly basis so i will go ahead and see you next week guys uh stay tuned and have a great day See, I have warriors. If warriors, that sounds absolutely horrible. I'm not going to use that. No way. If warriors, uh, no. Nah. Oh, I got the data right here. And it, whoop. Uh, yikes. Oh, I got the data right here. Uh, Ori Hoffman Mecker. Meckler. This guy's name is freaking ridiculously. Why does Hoff Meckler? Meckler. Hoff Meckler. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this right. Ori Hoffmeckler. This is going to be edited because I want to say his name right. Damn it. Ori Hoffmeckler. I got this. I got this. I'm going to do this. I do this. So 59.50 a week. 238. Uh, a, Jesus Christ. This is so many freaking numbers. I'm going to yeah, I'm gonna do graphics and show these numbers because, gosh. All right. Uh. Damn, I'm getting confused. I'm the one that wrote this thing down.